Hi, this is Mark, and this is English Conversation Practice. I have a black eye. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. And plus bonus content. I hurt my plane. So that's sports injuries. Oh, no. Okay. So be sure to stick around for the second part of this video for that bonus content. Okay, great. Let's start. I have a black eye. Does it hurt? I have a bloody nose. Are you all right? I have a broken leg. What happened? I have a sprained ankle. Take care. I have a backache. I hope you feel better soon. I have a sore neck. I'm sorry to hear that. I have a scraped knee. Don't cry. I have a cut finger. Put a bandage on it. I have a hurt hand. Did you see a doctor? I have a stubbed toe. That hurts. I have a stiff shoulder. Do you want a massage? I have a fever. What's your temperature? I have a sunburn. Put on lotion. I have a toothache. You should go see a dentist.
I have a headache. Did you take an aspirin? Okay, extension. I hurt my elbow playing basketball. I hurt my knee playing frisbee. I hurt my shin playing soccer. I hurt my hand playing football. I hurt my back playing tennis. Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. And today, you are shadowing with me, Mark. Yay! Like a real shadow that moves wherever you move, you will be my shadow. For example, here's my arm and there's my shadow against the whiteboard. As my arm moves up, my shadow moves up. As my arm moves down, my shadow moves down. My shadow is following me wherever I go. It's moving at the same time. So you will be my shadow. That is, you will not repeat after me. You will speak at the same time as I do. Yes. And right here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 cards. Wow, 16 cards. That's a lot. And today's topic is safe and dangerous. Safe and dangerous. Okay. And um, there will be two steps to today's lesson, or actually two rounds. Round one, we will shadow like normal, but you will not see the card. I will not show you the card. You will not be able to see the sentences. You will not be able to see the pictures. It's a test. How much do you understand? How well do you understand? What don't you understand? It's a test, round one. Then round two, we will shadow again, and then I will show you the card. That way, you will be able to read the sentence. You will be able to see the picture you will be able to understand the cards. Okay? Sounds good? Yeah? Okay. Ready? Card number one. Cats are safe. Cats are safe. Cats are safe. Card two. Wild boars are dangerous. Wild boars are dangerous. Wild boars are dangerous. Are you speaking at the same time as I am? Wild boars are dangerous. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Roller coasters are dangerous. Roller coasters are dangerous. Roller coasters are dangerous. Roller coasters are dangerous. Trains are safe. Trains are safe. Trains are safe. Tanks are dangerous. Tanks are dangerous. Tanks are dangerous. Jack-o-lanterns are safe. Jack-o-lanterns are safe. Jack-o-lanterns are safe. Werewolves are dangerous. Werewolves are dangerous. Werewolves are dangerous. Balloons are safe. Balloons are safe. Balloons are safe. 
balloons are safe. Skyrockets are dangerous. Skyrockets are dangerous. Skyrockets are dangerous. Skyrockets are dangerous. Flashlights are safe. Flashlights are safe. Flashlights are safe. Flashlights are safe. Torches are dangerous. Torches are dangerous. Torches are dangerous. Torches are dangerous. Hiking is safe. Hiking is safe. Hiking is safe. Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing is dangerous. Cycling is safe. Cycling is safe. Cycling is safe. Motocross is dangerous. Motocross is dangerous. Motocross is dangerous. Okay, good. That was 16 cards. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, great. Let's do it again. This is round two. We will shadow the cards again, and then I will show you the cards. That way you can see. You could read the sentences and see the pictures, and you will understand what the sentences mean. Okay, here we go. Round number two. Five, four, three, two, one. Cats are safe. Cats are safe. Cats are safe. Cats are safe. Wild boars are dangerous. Wild boars are dangerous. Wild boars are dangerous. Wild boars are dangerous. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Merry-go-rounds are safe. Roller coasters are dangerous. Roller coasters are dangerous. Roller coasters are dangerous. Roller coasters are dangerous. Trains are safe. Trains are safe. Trains are safe. Trains are safe. Tanks are dangerous. Tanks are dangerous. Tanks are dangerous. Tanks are dangerous. Jack o' lanterns are safe. 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 So these are pumpkin. That's a pumpkin. A jack o' lantern. During Halloween, people carve pumpkins, and once they're they are carved, they have a picture. Then they are called a jack o' lantern. Before you carve a pitcher in the pumpkin it's called just a pumpkin but after you carve a face it's called a jack-o-lantern <laughs> werewolves are dangerous werewolves are dangerous werewolves are dangerous werewolves are dangerous a werewolf is a man who turns into a wolf a werewolf is a man who turns into a wolf. <laughs> Balloons are safe. Balloons are safe. Balloons are safe. Balloons are safe. Skyrockets are dangerous. Skyrockets are dangerous. Skyrockets are dangerous. Skyrockets are dangerous. Flashlights are safe. Flashlights are safe. Flashlights are safe. Flashlights are safe. 
Torches are dangerous. Torches are dangerous. Torches are dangerous. Torches are dangerous. Yeah, that's an open flame. Yes, it is. Hiking is safe. Hiking is safe. Hiking is safe. Hiking is safe. I enjoy hiking. Yes, I do. Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing is dangerous. Rock climbing is dangerous. Yes, and you need to be super strong. <laughs> okay. Cycling is safe. 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 Motocross is dangerous. Motocross is dangerous. Motocross is dangerous. Motocross is dangerous. Okay, wow, you did it. Nice job, everyone. That was a lot. Yes, it was. Great job, everyone. You did great. All right. And if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my content, please consider joining the channel. I could really use the help. Um, Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice Short Conversation Set 6. Okay, great. Let's start. The Police Station. I'm going to the police station. I was just there. Why did you go? I had to pay a parking ticket. That's why I'm going. I hate parking tickets. I do too. Talk about yourself. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm doing good. I always wake up early. Breakfast is my favorite meal. I'm a baker. My hobby is Painting. I have a dog. I usually go to bed early. Drinks. Would you like a cappuccino? Yes, please. Would you like a martini? Yes, I would.
Would you like a glass of wine? That would be wonderful. Would you like some green tea? That sounds interesting. Feelings. She feels angry. He feels irritated. He feels surprised. He feels calm. He feels annoyed. He feels frustrated. He feels silly. She feels tense. Medical treatment. Are you okay? My chest hurts. How long have you had a cough? For about a week. I'll give you the Heimlich maneuver. I'm choking. I fell off my skateboard. Here's a splint. You should go see a doctor. I feel dizzy. Here, have this hot drink. I have the chills. I need an ambulance. Thank you. I will get you to the emergency room. Language focus. I'm going to the police station. I was just there. I had to pay a parking ticket. I hate parking tickets. Hello, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. My hobby is painting. 
Your painting is very good. Would you like a cappuccino? Yes, please. Would you like some green tea? That sounds interesting. She feels angry. I hope she feels better. He feels annoyed. Why? What happened? I'm choking. This is the Heimlich maneuver. I have the chills. Have a hot drink. Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. Yes, hello, hello. And today we are going to be here for one hour. Wow, one hour. Yes, I hope you are comfortable. I hope that you are ready. I hope that you have a beverage because before we start, we're going to have a toast. Yes, of course. This is my orange tumbler. And inside my orange tumbler is hot black coffee. Yes, that is my favorite drink, right? Yes, you know it's my favorite. All right. Okay, we always have a toast before we start our lessons. Yes? Okay, so let's toast to the members. Yes, the people who join the channel. The supporters. Yes, so I, I toast to the supporters. Yes, and let's, uh, let's toast to a fun, productive, interesting and wonderful lesson today yay 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 okay so we just had a toast so now we need to um bump beverages okay this i have a tumbler if you have a mug or a glass or anything let's um bump here if you don't have a beverage that's okay we could bump fists okay cheers everyone cheers 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 and because we had a toast we have to have a drink okay so i'm gonna pop open the top just like that. And let's have a drink. Yes. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me today. Yes. I'm going to put my tumbler down, my coffee down, out of your way. Okay. There it is. It's it's below the camera. You can't see it. <laughs> okay. And another thing you can't see is today's lesson plan. Over there, I wrote today's lesson plan. All right. So step one, hello. Oh, I have to say hello. I have to do the official hello. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here with me because without you, there is no reason for me to be here, right? Okay, great. So thank you for being here with me. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Our first activity will be a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. And this is the red book, which is book two. Okay, so we're going to do book two two today and um our conversation will be the topic is let's see let me look here the topic is hold on oh short answers okay so we're going to do 
page, well, conversation three, short answers, all right? So we're going to practice this conversation here, okay? Which is written behind me, okay? So we'll do that first. Then after we finish our conversation in the book, we will do dictation cards. Yes, dictation cards. So I have cards here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10 cards. Wow, 10 cards. And the topic is, <laughs> let me look at my notes here. The topic will be, um, oh, permission. Uh, so actually, um, asking for permission and requests and requests. All right. So we will practice um, asking for permission and um, asking for requests or making a request. I shouldn't say not asking, making a request. All right. So that that's the topic for the dictation cards. And for the dictation cards, you will need a pencil. Yeah. And a piece of paper because I will read the card, I will read a sentence, and you will listen carefully and write down what I say word for word, all right? And then after that, after we do the dictation, we will then shadow, which is speaking practice. So then you will put down your paper and your pencil and you will speak at the same time as I do, okay? So that's dictation and shadowing all right so that's what we'll do that's after the um, book all right then our th um, third activity will be three sentences card guessing game right so we got three cards and each card I will give you three sentences as clues right clue one clue two clue three then I, I hope from the three clues, you can guess what that card is, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, it should be fun. I know it'll be fun. And um, it'll take about one hour, so I hope you are comfortable and ready, okay? So here we go. Let's go ahead and start. So first, we're going to open the book, 50 Very Short Conversations, book two. You can get this at Amazon.com. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do conversation three. All right, so first I'm going to um, hold it up to the camera so you can see it, and we will read it together, and then we will practice the conversation together, and then we will um, practice some of the target. All right, so we will do our own short answers, okay? Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold up the book. The conversation to the camera so you can see easily okay so person a says are you thirsty there's a question are you thirsty and then he says yes I am okay that's a short answer right yes I am then it gets then we expand on the conversation and then it gets really small so what I've done is I wrote it on the board, okay? So that way we can do it easily. You can see it easily. If you have a book, if you buy a book on Amazon.com, of course you can read it easily and see it easily, right? But because um, from the camera, it's hard for you to see on camera, okay? So <clears throat> let's now, okay, so here, short answers, are you thirsty? Yes, I am. And then down below, it continues all right so i'm going to put the i'm going to go ahead go ahead and put the book down and then we will just practice on the whiteboard okay all right so here we go so one more time the topic is short answers short answers a person a person b so we have a conversation two people right so <clears throat> so we have one person asking and another person answering okay asking questions answering the question asking the question answering the question. Okay, A, are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Okay, I'll get you some tea. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go one more time. Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Thank you very much. Okay, good, good. All right, very good. Now, let's um, practice the conversation together. Let's role play, all right? So, I'll be A and you'll be B, okay? A, B, A, B, all right? So, let's say the conversation together, shall we? Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm A. Are you thirsty? Do you drink tea? Okay, I'll get you some tea. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's do it one more time. Are you thirsty? Do you drink tea? Okay, I'll get you some tea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's switch now. Um, you will be A, I will be B. A, B, A, B. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's count down for when you start the conversation. Okay, here we go. Count down in your A, remember. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready, go. Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Okay, you are A. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. That was easy. That was no problem, right? Okay, great, great. <clears throat> Okay, let's go over, let's go over again. Let's shadow, all right? So I want you to speak at the same time as I do. And we'll go fast and slow, fast and slow. So we'll change, we'll change the speed of our speech, okay? So here we go. So let's go slow first, okay? And let's say this together. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? thirsty. Okay, let's go faster. Are you thirsty? 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 Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, let's go faster. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, good. Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Okay, let's go faster. Do you drink tea? 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 <laughs> Do you drink tea? Okay, good. Okay, we'll go next sentence. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, we'll go faster. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, good. All right, now let's go to the next sentence there. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Okay. Okay. I'll get you some tea. Okay, well, let's go faster. Okay, I'll get you some tea. 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 Okay, let's last line. Thank you very much. 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 Okay, let's go faster. Thank you very much. 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 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, right, right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that was just a simple little conversation. Um, asking someone if they want something to drink, right? Um, are you thirsty? Oh, yes, I am. Uh, oh, do you drink tea? Yes, I do. Or, um, no, for example, maybe, no, I don't. Okay, um, then maybe I would say, uh, what would you like? Or what do you drink? Or I could say, oh, I have coffee, milk, water. All right, so do you drink tea? And if you say, no, I don't. And I can say, okay, well, okay, well, I have mm, coffee. I have water. I have juice. I have cola. All right, so, and then, um, and then maybe you say, okay, I'll have coffee. And then I go, okay, here you are. And you say, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so, okay, good job. Now, over here, I have some questions, and then we'll practice some short answers, okay? So, here, I have a line here, and I want you to fill in what are these words, okay? What, what are the beginning? So these are all answers, or I mean, these are all questions. So what's the first word in this? Well, actually, there's two words. What are the first two words in this question? What, what are the first two words in this question? This is one word, okay? So what's this one word in this question? Um, this is one word. What is this one word in this question? This is one word. What is this one word in this question? Okay? So do you think you know? I'm, sh I'm sure. I'm sure you can do it. Okay. Thirsty. Thirsty question. Okay? And so what do we say? Right. Thirsty. Thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, okay, so you know it, right? Okay, good, good, good. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Okay, and then short answer would be, yes, I am. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we go, we need a Y first. Okay, so we go, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay, so those are our short answers there. Question is, are you thirsty? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, so what is, what are, the, there's two words here for this um, question. Okay, so we got, we got four. We got four now. So, mm mm, drink tea. Mm mm, drink tea. Drink tea. Drink tea. Drink tea. Whoop. Drink tea. Drink tea. Okay, so do you, right? Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Do you, do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? And because we're going to do a short answer. So we see here the example, the first one, are you thirsty? And then here, yes, I am. So this connects, are you? Yes, I am. All right. So do you drink tea? Then the connecting, and then the um, answer is, yes, I do. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so we, do you drink tea? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, now we have a little longer, so I don't have that many fingers. <laughs> So, okay, so, mm, okay, country would you like to visit? 
Mm. Country would you like to visit? Mm. Country would you like to visit? Country would you like to visit? Country would you like to visit? Okay, you got it? Okay, which, which country would you like to visit? Which country? Which country would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? And so maybe a short answer would be Japan. Let's say Japan. Right? So, which country would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? Okay? So, please ask me. Japan. Japan. All right? So, I'll ask you and you say what country you would like to visit. Okay? Okay, so you don't have to say Japan. Any country is fine. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, here we go. Which country would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? Okay, in the comments, tell me. Tell me in the comments which country you would like to visit. Okay, good, good. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, mm, you ever been skiing? It's one word. Let's see, maybe I have enough fingers for this one, okay? So, you ever been skiing? You ever been skiing? Ever been, wait, no, no. You ever been skiing? You ever been skiing? You ever been skiing? You ever been skiing? You got it? Do you know the first word? Have. Have you ever been skiing? Have you ever been skiing? Have you ever been skiing? All right, so what is the short answer? Or? Okay, so have you ever been skiing? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Or, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. So can you see how, how we are... Um, Using the same language for the question and answer, right? Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, which country do you? Um, which country would you like to visit? Japan. Have you ever been skiing? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, here we go. Let's do one more. And we can do, I have enough fingers for this. One, two, three, four. So I need five fingers again. Okay, so we need one word. And so here we go. Is your favorite city? 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 You got it? What? What is your favorite city? What is your favorite city? What is your favorite city? And we could just do a short, a short answer. And for example, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Okay, Los Angeles, for example, right? What is your favorite city? Los Angeles. What is your favorite city? Los Angeles, okay? So I want you now, let's practice. You tell me your favorite city. Okay, what is your favorite city? Here we go. You tell me the answer. What is your favorite city? What is your favorite city? What is your favorite city? 
what is your favorite city? <laughs> okay, good job. Okay, again, tell me in the comments um, your favorite city, okay? So please tell me your favorite city in the comments. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, nice, nicely done, everyone. So we did a short conversation, short answers, and then we practiced some questions and short answers, okay? Okay, good job, everyone. Okay, now it's time for our dictation cards. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So if you have, if you have a pencil and a piece of paper, please get it. Okay. And I'll give you time. So right now, please find your pencil and your paper. <clears throat> now I'm going to have a little sip of coffee while I'm waiting for you. Hmm. Very good. I like coffee. <laughs> Ask me a question. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, ask me one more time. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you like coffee? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I hope now you have your pencil and your paper. So now we are going to do dictation practice. So I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. <coughs> sorry, sorry. I have ten cards. So we're going to have lots of practice. So you're going to listen carefully and you're going to write down what I say word for word. All right. And our topics are, let me make sure I got, get my notes here. I don't want to make a mistake. All right. So. Our topic is um, permission and requests. Okay, asking for asking for permission and making a request. Okay, one more time, um, asking for permission and making a request. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Card number one. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two. One, may I roll down the window? 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 So please write down that sentence. May I roll down the window? May I roll down the window? May I roll down the window? Yeah, good, good. So that's asking for permission, right? So it's not my car. I'm asking um, maybe my friend. <laughs> so I'm in my friend's car and I'm asking my friend, may I roll down the window? Because it's not my car. So I need to ask for permission. Okay, good. Okay, card number two. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, card number two. May I change the channel? 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 So again, it's not my TV. I'm not, it, it's not my TV, it's not my house. I'm at my friend's house and I have to ask for permission to change the channel because it's not my house. I want to watch the news maybe or I want to watch a sports game and maybe my friend is in the kitchen cooking or something or in another room and I'll yell over, hello friend, <laughs> may I change the channel? <laughs> okay, so you have to ask permission because it is not yours. All right, Qu card number three. All right, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. May I use the pepper? 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 May I use the 
Pepper. May I use the pepper? Okay, same situation. Not my house. Uh, not my pepper. <laughs> I'm at my friend's house and I'm, I'm eating at my friend's house and it's my friend's pepper. So I must ask permission to use the pepper. Okay, so it's not yours, so you must ask for permission. Okay, here we go. Card number four, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. May I use your bath? 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 Okay, <laughs> same situation. It's not my house, it's my friend's house, and I want to take a bath. <laughs> Maybe I'm really cold or uh, maybe we did some exercise or something and or my maybe my bath is broken so I need to use my friend's bath. <laughs> so I go to my friend's house. I ask, may I use your bath? So I must ask permission because it's not mine. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, number five, card number five, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. May I play two? 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 Okay, may I play two? May I play two? So here, she is asking permission if she can join in, right? So she's asking for permission. May I play too? Asking for permission. So she wants to join. It's not her playhouse. So she must ask permission to play in the playhouse, okay? It's not her playhouse, so she must ask for permission. Okay, yes, yes, yes. May I play too? Okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. Card number six. Yeah, card number six. Yes, we're at six. Okay, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number six. Can you get me a towel? 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 Okay, here, making a request. Okay, so I'm my friend's house. I'm using my friend's bath, but now I need a towel. <laughs> so I have to request. Okay, I have to ask my friend for a towel. I must ask, I must make a request. Can you get me a towel? So, so I'm in the bath, I'm wet. So I'm not going to do it. I need someone else to do it. So I need my friend to get a towel and bring it to me. So I must request it because the other person is doing it for me. Okay? The person is doing it for me. Can you get me a towel? So that person is going to get the towel and bring it to me. So it is a request. Okay. Next card. We are number... Seven, eight, nine. Yep, card number seven. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number seven. Can you take me to the airport? 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 Okay, so I'm making a request because I'm asking someone else to do it for me. I'm asking someone to take me. All right, I'm not driving. 
I'm sitting. I'm just a passenger. Okay, I'm just a passenger. So I must make a request. I must ask. Can you take me to the airport? Okay, good. All right. Card number eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Can you turn on the TV? 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 Okay, I'm again, I'm asking a request. I'm not doing it. Someone else is doing it for me, okay? I'm at my friend's house and I'm asking my friend, can you turn on the TV, right? So I'm not doing it. I'm asking someone to do it for me. That's a request. Okay, number nine, number nine, card number nine. Count down, five, four, three, two, one. Can you open the door? 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 Okay, so I'm not gonna, she's not gonna do it. She's asking her friend. She's making a request. Can you open the door? Can you open the door? So she's asking someone else to do it. Okay, good. Card number 10, here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Can you please pass the salt? 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 Okay? Can you please pass the salt? Can you Please pass the salt. Okay, so I'm making a request. I'm asking someone to do it for me. I'm asking someone to pick it up and hand it to me. Pass me the, give it to me. Hand me the salt. Pass me the salt. Okay, so someone else is doing it for me. All right. Can you please pass the salt? Okay, great job. <clears throat> How'd you do? Did you do good? Did you do good? Yeah? Okay, nice, nice, nicely done, nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna do step two, which is shadowing, right? So step one, dictation. So that was, you listened carefully and you wrote down what I said word for word, all right? Now, step two, we're not writing. This is now speaking practice, okay? So I want you to speak at the same time as I do. Please do not repeat after me. Speak at the same time and also, please don't look at the paper, okay? So please just, just use your um, ears and mouth. <laughs> don't use your eyes, okay? <laughs> don't look at the paper, don't look at the sentences, all right? Just listen and speak, okay? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's do, di or let's do shadowing together, you and me, you and me. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. May I roll down the window? 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 May I change the channel? 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 May I use the pepper? 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 May I use your bath? 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 May I 
use your bath? May I use your bath? May I use your bath? May I play too? 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 <laughs> Can you get me a towel? 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 <laughs> Can you get me a towel? Can you take me to the airport? 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 Can you turn on the TV? 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 Can you open the door? 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 Can you please pass the salt? 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 Okay, well done. Yes, yes, yes. Nicely done. We did dictation practice and we did shadowing practice, right? So we did listening practice and we did speaking practice. Well done. All right. And we talked about um, asking, well, Asking for permission, may I. Asking for permission, may I. And making a request, can you. Making a request, can you. Okay, so nicely done. Very, very good. Very useful language, right? So we need to make requests and we have to ask permission maybe every day in some situations, right? So maybe we can call this like daily English. Yeah. Okay. Great, great, great. So, okay. We finished the conversation from the book. We finished the dictation cards. Yes. And now we are going to play a game. Yay! We're going to do a game. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do the three sentence card guessing game. Yeah. Three sentences card guessing game. All right. And we have three cards. <laughs> three cards, three um, sentences. <laughs> okay, so, but before we do that, I need to erase the board. So, <clears throat> before I erase it, let's just go over this one more time real quick, okay? So, let's just go over this conversation real quick here, shall we? Okay, ready? Okay, are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Okay, I'll get you some tea. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's erase that. Okay, let's, we need, I'm erasing this because we need, we need the space for the card guessing game. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, before I erase it, let's practice one more time. 
Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you drink tea? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Which country would you like to visit? Japan. Which country would you like to visit? Japan. Have you ever been skiing? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever been skiing? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. What is your favorite city? Los Angeles. What is your favorite city? Los Angeles. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, I'm going to erase this because we need the space for our card guessing game. Yay! Okay. We got a clean whiteboard now. Yes. Clean, clean, clean. All right. Yes. Oh, and let's see. Here are the cards. Here are the clues. Here are the cards. All right. Oh, so what I need now, I need some magnets, right? I need to put the card on to the board. So I need a magnet. Here I go. Here, this is a, this color is, um, what's this color? Maybe a turquoise or a, or a um, what's another word for, tur what's another color? Well, this is turquoise. Let's just, let's call it turquoise. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to put the card right here. Okay, can you see what it is? No, you can't. Because if you could see what it is, it wouldn't be a game, would it? No, no, no. You can't see it because I'm going to give you clues. So this is a, a guessing game, all right? So you're going to listen to the clues, and then you will guess what this is, okay? From the clues, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> Clue number one. It's an animal. It's an animal. Clue number two. It lives in the desert. It lives in the desert. Clue number three. Last one. Clue number three. It can hold a lot of water. It can hold a lot of water. Okay? What is it? Okay, I'm going to, if you know already, go ahead and say what it is. Maybe in the comments right now. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Um, okay, I'm, maybe you know already, but I'm going to write the sentences down just in case you want to, if you want to see the sentences, okay? So clue number one, it's an animal. Okay, clue number two, it lives in the desert. Okay, clue number three, it can hold a lot of water. Yeah, and it's important because in the desert, there's not, there's not much water, right? So, so water is very important in the desert. Right, 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 right. Okay, so here we go. One more time. Clue number one, it's an animal. It's an animal. Clue two, it lives in the desert. It lives in it. So its home is the, in the desert. That's not, not, not in the mountains or not in the snowy mountains, not in the alpine mountains, <laughs> but in the desert, okay? Um, where it's dry and hot and sandy, right? Lots of sand. <laughs> okay, three, it can hold a lot of water. It can hold a lot of water, okay? It, it, like I'm holding my tumbler, and my tumbler can hold a lot of coffee. It's a pretty big... It's a pretty big tumbler, and it could hold a fair amount of coffee. 
enough for me today. <laughs> it can hold enough coffee for me today. Okay. Okay, great. So what is it? You know what it is? Okay, I'm sure you do. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what it is. All right. So here we go. A little drum roll here, please. And the answer is, yes, it's a camel. All right. So the camel lives this is an animal. It lives in the desert and it could hold a lot of water. So that hump right there, that's where the water is stored. So the camel doesn't need water for a long time. So it can go in the desert. All right. So it's a camel. Well done. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we got another card here. Okay, I need a magnet. I've got a magnet here. So let me put the card up on the whiteboard. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put it here. This, you can see it easier, I think. I'm sure you can. I'll put a little line here to separate this, these clues and the next three. So we're going to have three clues. One, two, three. We're going to have three clues. All right. Can you see what it is? No, you can't see what it is because if you could see what it is, then it wouldn't be a game, would it? No, no, no. So you don't know what it is, right? So, but I have the clues right here. Yes, yes. Three clues. Okay, three sentences. All right. So can you guess what it is? Here we go. Clue number one. It's transportation. It's transportation. Clue number two. You see them in cities. You see them in cities. You see them in cities. Clue number three. They are usually yellow. They are usually yellow. Okay, one more time. It's transportation. Two. You see them in cities. Three, they are usually yellow. They are usually yellow. Okay, you know what it is? I'm sure maybe you do, maybe you don't. Well, anyway, I'm going to put the clues on the board so you can, you can see the sentences, all right? It's transportation it's transportation you see them in cities okay yeah here in Japan they have lots of them in the city <laughs> In the cities here, there are many of them. Okay, and clue number three. They are usually yellow. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, okay. You got it? You know what it is? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Okay, <laughs> let's go one more time. It's transportation. You see them in cities. They are usually yellow. What is it? What is it? Okay, here we go. I need a little drum roll, please. And the answer is da -na 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 -na. Yes, it's a taxi. You got it. It's a taxi. Yeah, you got it. Right? So taxis are transportation. So transportation takes people places. So for example, um, a train is transportation, right? It takes us one place to another place. Um, cars are transportation, right? They take us from one place to another place. Um, bicycles are transportation. They take us from one place to another place. Let's see, um, what's another? Oh, buses, of course. Buses are transportation. They take us from one place to another place. Um, airplanes, yeah, airplanes are transportation. They take us from one place to another place. Uh, let's see, what else transportation? Do you, do you, do you, can you think of other 
forms of transportation? Can you think of other forms of transportation? So we have taxis, we have buses, we have airplanes, we have cars. What else? In the comments, please tell me. Other forms of transportation. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Thank you so much. Okay, we have one more card left. All right, one more. Here's the card, and I need a magnet right here. I have a magnet right here. This one's green. We've got a green, this one, this time. Okay, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, put it right there. Can you see what it is? No, you can't see what it is because if you could see what it is, it wouldn't be a game. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> so I have to give you clues for you to guess what the card is. All right. Are you ready? So we have three clues. Here we go. Clue number one. It's makeup. It's makeup. Clue number two. It comes in many colors. It comes in many colors. Clue number three, it comes in a tube. It comes in a tube. Okay, here we go, one more time. It's makeup. It comes in many colors. It comes in a tube. What is it? You got it? <laughs> maybe you do, maybe you don't. All right, I'm gonna write the clues on the board. How's that? Is that a good idea? Yeah, it is. Sure, it's a good idea. One, two, three, because there are three clues. I'm trying to find, my, my ink is running out. I'm running out of ink. My pens, my whiteboard pens are running out of ink. I need to get some more ink. Okay, clue number one, it's makeup. Okay, it's makeup. Two, it comes in many colors. Okay, and clue number three, it comes in a tube. Okay, those are our clues. Okay, here we go. One more time, the clues. It's makeup. It comes in many colors. It comes in a tube. It comes in a tube. What is it? Do you know? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. I need another drum roll, please. And the answer is... It's lipstick. Yeah, you got it. It's lipstick. And this is purple lipstick. <laughs> Do you like purple lipstick? <laughs> okay, very well done. We got three cards, nine clues. All right, and three answers. <laughs> three clues, one answer. Three clues, one answer. Three clues, one answer. Okay, and that was the three sentences card guessing game. Hey, okay. Thank you so much, everyone. We did it. Yeah, we did. We did a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations, and you can get this at Amazon.com. That would be great. And these are... Um, these are grammar based, right? So we had like short answers and we have there is, and we have like quizzes. We have quizzes right here. No, 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 this page quizzes. And they have ranking how you feel like it's a one. You put a number on how you feel. For example, zero, you don't feel very strong. And 10, you feel very strong about it, okay? So there's like quizzes and for you to put your input how you feel about um, a topic, okay? And then we did dictation practice, right? 10 cards, that was great. And now we just did the um, card guessing game. So great job, everyone. Thank you so much, yeah. And um, I, again, I wanna thank, you, thank the members. And um, 
So if you join the channel, you are helping me so I can help you, right? Okay, so I need your help. Um, I need you to become a member, please. So you can check it out. Hit the join button and a pop-down menu will appear. Then you can read about how to become a member, the um, different levels and the benefits of a member, okay? So please check it out. Please consider by helping me, I can help you. All right. So Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. And today we are practicing a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. And there will be four steps to today's lesson. Step one, I will read the conversation. Step two, I will ask you questions about the conversation. Step three, we will read the conversation together. And step four, we will shadow the conversation. All right? Yeah? Good? Okay. And today's topic is ways of moving. Ways of moving. Okay? Are you ready? Yes? Okay, good. I am too. All right? This is Joe. Please say hello to Joe. Hello, Joe. This is Sue. Please say hello to Sue. Hello, Sue. Okay, good. And Joe is going first. Sue, let's take a stroll around the neighborhood. Okay, but I have a little limp. That's fine. We can just wander slowly. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. What about hiking in the mountains? I don't know. We can try it out if you want. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, let's do it one more time, yeah? Okay, this is Joe and this is Sue, and Joe is first. Okay, here we go, one more time. Sue, let's take a stroll around the neighborhood. Okay, but I have a little limp. That's fine. We can just wander slowly. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. What about hiking in the mountains? I don't know. We can try it out if you want. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. All right. How much did you listen? Or how much did you remember? How much did you understand? Okay? Because here, step two, I'm going to ask you questions about the conversation, right? So this is a listening check, all right? And we will have two steps or two rounds. Round one, I will read, there are five questions. I will read the five questions twice but please don't answer just relax and listen because round two i will read them again and then give you time to um, answer the questions and then i will also give you the answers okay so let's do step two questions and answers okay here we go there are five questions so please one more time don't answer just listen all right here we go Question number one, what does Joe suggest they do? What does Joe suggest they do? Question two, what's wrong with Sue? What's wrong with Sue? Question number three, what can Sue do to decrease her limp? What can Sue do to decrease her her limp. Question number four. What else does Joe suggest they do? 
What else does Joe suggest they do? Question five. If Sue can't walk, what will she do? If, sh if Sue can't walk, what will she do? Okay, okay, okay. Round two. I'm going to read them again. I'm going to read each question again and then give you time to answer and then I will also give you the answer. Okay, here we go. Round two. Question number one. What does Joe suggest they do? Joe suggests they take a stroll around the neighborhood. Question number two. What's wrong with Sue? Sue has a limp. Question number three. What can Sue do to decrease her limp? She can decrease her limp by tiptoeing. Tiptoeing. Question number four. What else does Joe suggest they do? Joe also suggests going for a hike in the mountains. Okay, question number five. If Sue can't walk, what will she do? If Sue can't walk, then she will have to crawl. Crawl. Oh, no. Okay. How did you do? Did you get the um, questions correct? Yes? No? So, so? <laughs> okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Now... It's time for step three, and that is reading, okay? So we're going to read this together, all right? So I'm going to put the, um, the conversation up to the camera so we can read it together, all right? Here we go. Okay, put it up here, and let's read it. Okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Joe is first. Sue, let's take a stroll around the neighborhood. Okay, but I have a little limp. That's fine. We can just wander slowly. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. What about hiking in the mountains? I don't know. We can try it out if you want. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. However, if I can't walk... Then I'll have to crawl. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Okay, good. Let's do it one more time. Okay, here we go. One more time. I'm going to put this conversation up here so we can read it together. Okay, here we go. Sue, let's take a stroll around the neighborhood. Okay. But I have a little limp. That's fine. We can just wander slowly. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. What about hiking in the mountains? I don't know. We can try it out if you want. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. Ha ha, that's funny. Ha ha, that's funny. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, so we, you listened to the conversation. I asked you questions about the conversation. We just read the conversation. Now it's time for us to shadow the conversation, all right? Shadowing, that is when you speak at the same time as I do, all right? So here's my arm, and there's my shadow against the whiteboard. As my arm moves up, my shadow moves up. As my arm moves down, my shadow moves down. My shadow is moving at the same time as I am. So you will be my shadow. That is, you will not repeat after me. You will speak at the same time as I do, okay? Are you ready? Okay, good. Let's shadow 
this conversation. Okay, let's go. <coughs> let's count down to shadow time. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sue, let's take a stroll around the neighborhood. 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 Okay, but I have a little limp. 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 That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <coughs> We can just wander slowly. 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 If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. What about hiking in the mountains? 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We can try it out if you want. 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 Yes, I would like to go for a hike. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. Then I'll have to crawl. Have to crawl. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. If you crawl, then I will crawl with you. If you crawl, then I'll crawl with you. Ha ha, that's funny. Ha ha, that's funny. Ha ha. That's funny. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Yes, we did it. We shadowed together. Great, great, great. Okay, let's look at the conversation one more time. Let's read it through one more time just so we get everything a-okay. All right. Joe is first. Sue, let's take a stroll around the neighborhood. Okay, but I have a little limp. That's fine. We can just wander slowly. If I tiptoe, I don't have much of a limp. What about hiking in the mountains? I don't know. We can try it out if you want. Yes, I would like to go for a hike. However, if I can't walk, then I'll have to crawl. If you crawl, then I'll then I will crawl with you. Ha ha, that's funny. Ha ha, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, good job, everyone. We did it. Four steps. 
I read the conversation. I asked you questions about the conversation. We read the conversation together and we shadowed the conversation together. Woo! That's a lot of practice. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. And if you enjoy my videos, you enjoy the content, please consider joining the channel. That would be great. That would help me a lot. Um, by helping me, I can help you. By helping me, I can help you. Yeah. Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. Let's. Let's. Let's go to the library. The library. The library. That's a good idea. Let's go to the beach. The beach. The beach. That's a good idea. Let's go to the park. The park. The park. That's a good idea. Let's go to the pool. The pool. The pool. That's a good idea. Let's go to the gym. The gym. The gym. That's a good idea. Let's go roller skating. Roller skating. Roller skating. That's a good idea. Let's go shopping. 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 That's a good idea. Let's go hiking. 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 That's a good idea. Okay, now it's your turn. Let's go to the library. That's a good idea. Let's go to the beach. That's a good idea. Let's go to the park. That's a good idea. Let's go to the pool. That's a good idea. Let's go to the gym. That's a good idea. Let's go roller skating. That's a good idea. Let's go shopping. That's a good idea.
Let's go hiking. That's a good idea. How about some drinks? How about some drinks? Coffee. Coffee. How about some coffee? Okay, great. Now it's your turn. Tea. Tea. How about some? Tea. Grape juice. Grape juice. How about some grape juice? Lemonade, lemonade. How about some lemonade? Milk, milk. How about some? Milk. Water, water. How about some water? Tomato juice, tomato juice. How about some tomato juice? Orange juice, orange juice. How about some? Orange juice. Apple juice, apple juice. How about some apple juice? Subject, verb, adverb, patterns. John. Sleeping. Is, John is sleeping. D. 
deeply. John is sleeping deeply. Ted. Reading. Is. Ted is reading. Carefully. Ted is reading carefully. Bill. Eating. Is. Bill is eating. Quickly. Bill is eating quickly. Wendy. Walking. Is. Wendy is walking. Slowly. Wendy is walking slowly. Kim. Cooking. Is. Kim is cooking. Joyfully. Kim is cooking joyfully. Joe. Drinking. Is. Joe is drinking. Heavily. Joe is drinking heavily. Laura. Sitting. Is. Laura is sitting. Elegantly. Laura is sitting elegantly. Henry. Working. Is. Henry is working. Calmly. Henry is working calmly. Now it's your turn. John is sleeping. Deeply. Ted is reading. Carefully. Bill is eating. Quickly. Wendy is walking. Slowly.
Kim is cooking. Joyfully. Joe is drinking. Heavily. Laura is sitting. Elegantly. Henry is working. Calmly. Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice Adjectives Describing People and Things Video 10. Okay, great. Let's start. Tall or short? Ask and answer. Is Bob tall or short? He's tall. Is Bill tall or short? He's short. Is Sam angry or happy? He's angry. Is Linda angry or happy? She's happy. Is John thirsty or hungry? He's thirsty. Is Kim thirsty or hungry? She's hungry. Is Ben busy or bored? He's busy. Is Jack busy or bored? He's bored. Is the turtle slow or fast? It's slow. Is the horse slow or fast? It's fast. Is Jerry handsome or ugly? He's handsome. Is Fred handsome or ugly? He's ugly. Is Rob poor or rich? He's poor. Is William poor or rich? He's rich. Are the green socks old or new? They're old. Are the orange socks old or new? They're new. Is it cold 
or hot. It's cold. Is it cold or hot? It's hot. Is the baby young or old? She's young. Is the woman young or old? She's old. Okay, more information. Is Bob tall? Yes, he is. He is 190 centimeters tall. Is Bill short? Yes, he is. He is 150 centimeters tall. Is Sam angry? Yes, he is. He is always angry. Is Linda happy? Yes, she is. It's her birthday today. Is John thirsty? Yes, he is. It's hot outside. Is Kim hungry? Yes, she is. She is starving. Is Ben busy? Yes, he is. He has a lot of work to do. Is Jack bored? Yes, he is. He has finished his work. Is the turtle slow? Yes, it is. It has short legs. Is the horse fast? Yes, it is. It has long legs. Is Jerry handsome? Yes, he is. He is very good looking. Is Fred ugly? Yes, he is. He is quite homely. Is Rob poor? Yes, he is. He doesn't have a job. Is William rich? Yes, he is. He owns a large company. Are the green socks old? Yes, they are. They are about three years old.
Are the orange socks new? Yes, they are. They were purchased yesterday. Is it cold? Yes, it is. It's minus 10 degrees. Is it hot? Yes, it is. It's 40 degrees. Is the baby young? Yes, she is. She is one month old. Is the woman old? Yes, she is. She is in her 90s. Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. Can and could. Can and could. Plus bonus content. Ordering in a restaurant. So be sure to stick around for the second part of this video for that bonus content. Okay, great. Let's start. Request. Can I have a large? Yes, of course. Could you have a look at this? Sure, no problem. Permission. Can I borrow your pencil? Yes, here you are. Can I use the restroom? Go ahead. Ability. I can see it. What do you see? I could have been champion. Better luck next time. Suggestions. We could meet next week. That's a good idea. Possibility. It can be cold in April. Really? Extension, ordering in a restaurant. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I would like a soda. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I would like a coffee.
Would you like something to drink? Yes, I would like wine. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I would like a beer. Would you like something to eat? Yes, I would like pancakes. Would you like something to eat? Yes, I would like a sandwich. Would you like something to eat? Yes, I would like an egg. Would you like something to eat? Yes, I would like the rice dish. Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. And today, you are shadowing with me, Mark, like a real shadow that moves wherever you move. For example, here's my arm and there's my shadow against the whiteboard. As my arm moves up, my shadow moves up. As my arm moves down, my shadow moves down. My shadow is moving at the same time as I am. So you will be my shadow. That is, you will not repeat after me. You will speak at the same time as I I do, okay? Yeah, good. And here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cards. And the topic is make, make, but we're doing it in fourteen different verb tenses. Wow! Make in fourteen different verb tenses. Tenses. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Oh, oh, before we start, I need to explain to you. There will be two steps. All right. Step one, we're going to shadow each card three times. But I'm not going to show you the card. You're not going to be able to see the picture. You can't see the sentence. It's only for your listening and speaking. All right. But round two, we will shadow again just as normal, but then I will show you the card. That way you can, s you can um, maybe the first step, you didn't understand the sentence or the situation, the meaning, but the second time doing it again, you will be able to see the sentence and see the picture, and then you'll be able to check how much you understood what you understood, what you didn't understand, how much of the meaning did you understand, all right? So it's a good challenge for you, all right? So the first round, you can't see the card. In the second round, we will shadow as normal, and then I will show you the card, okay? Are you ready? Yeah, good? Okay, let's count down to shadowing. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. He makes pottery for a hobby. He makes pottery for a hobby. He makes pottery for a hobby. I made breakfast for you. I made breakfast for you. I made breakfast for you. I had just 
made a call. I had just made a call. I had just made a call. I will make this for you. I will make this for you. I will make this for you. I'm going to make this for winter. I'm going to make this for winter. I'm going to make this for winter. We are making a castle. We are making a castle. We are making a castle. I was making this while on vacation. I was making this while on vacation. I was making this while on vacation. I will be making my dinner as usual. I will be making my dinner as usual. I will be making my dinner as usual. I have already made a reservation. I have already made a reservation. I have already made a reservation. I have been making these all day. I have been making these all day. I have been making these all day. We had been making the bed when you jumped on it. We had been making the bed when you jumped on it. We had been making the bed when you jumped on it. Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. I would make dessert if I were hungry. I would make dessert if I were hungry. I would make dessert if I were hungry. I will have made coffee for tomorrow. I will have made coffee for tomorrow. I will have made coffee for tomorrow. Okay, good, good, good. That was round one. That was 14 cards. Woo, well done. Okay, let's do it again, and then I will show you the card, okay? Here we go. Count down to round two. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. He makes pottery for a hobby. 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 So this is the present tense. So he makes, she makes, I make. Okay, just the base. He makes pottery for a hobby. I make pottery for a hobby. Okay, good. Okay. Here we go. Card two. I made breakfast for you. 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 So this is the past tense. So it's just basic past. I made. So it's finished. It's completed. I made breakfast for you. I had just made a call. 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 This is the simple past perfect tense. So it happened in the past and it's finished. So it happened at a certain time in the past and it's finished. So I had just, just, just made recently okay so it, it's happened in the past and it's finished and it's a time right i had just made a call so emphasis is on time i will make this for you 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 I will make this 
for you. This is the will, future tense, and it's he just now decided to do it in the future. So, so it's the the decision has just been made. I will make this for you. So he's about to do it. I'm going to make this for winter. 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 This is going to future. So this is decided ahead in the future, right? So maybe it's summer now. So I'm going to make this for winter. We are making a castle. 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 This is the present continuous tense. So it started in the past and it's happening now. It's continuing, it continued from the past and it's happening now. I was making this while on vacation. 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 This is the past continuous. So it happened in the past. It started in the past and it con continued into the from the past so it, it started in the past and it finished in the past i was making this while on vacation i will be making my dinner as usual 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 I will be making my dinner as usual. This is the future continuous. So it's going to start in the future and it's going to continue in the future. I will be making my dinner as usual. So it's going to start in the future and it's going to continue into the future. I have already made a reservation. 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 This is the present perfect continuous. So it started in the past. I have already made and it finished in the past. And he's talking about it now. I have already made a reservation. All right. So he, he's talking about it now and he did it in the past. <laughs> and he's talking about it now. I have already made a reservation. I have been making these all day. 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 Present perfect continuous. So it's so it started in the past and it's happened until now. I have been making these all day. Present perfect continuous. We had been making the bed when you jumped on it. We had been making the bed when you jumped on it. We had been making the bed when you jumped on it. <laughs> we had been making the bed when you jumped on it. This is the past perfect continuous. So two act one action was happening in the past when another action happened in the past. So they were, they had been making the bed 
and then the the boy jumped on the bed so the action was happening they were making the bed that's in the past and then the boy jumped on it while they were doing that action in the so it's past past <laughs> two actions in the past <coughs> Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. Wow. Next week, I will have been making pizza for 30 years. Future, perfect, continuous, tense future perfect continuous tense so at a point in the future so next week i will have been making pizza so in a point in the future it and then we go, okay we go back 30 years <laughs> and then so up so from 30 years and it's continuing up up until next week and then it will stop 30 years so it started 30 years ago, and it's continuing up until next week, and then it will stop. <laughs> then in the future, it will have been 30 years. I would make dessert if I were hungry. 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 This is con conditional simple. Conditional simple tense. So something would happen. So it's possible. I would make dessert if I were. So if, so it's possible to happen. <laughs> I would make dessert if I were hungry. So it's possible, but I'm not going to do it. I would do it but I'm not hungry. <laughs> I would do it, but I'm not hungry. I would make dessert if I were hungry. I will have made coffee for tomorrow. 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 Future, perfect, simple. I will have made coffee for tomorrow. So by tomorrow, the coffee will be made. <laughs> All right? So in the future, and then it's happen. It will happen in the future. It will happen and complete. It will be completed in the future. I will have made coffee for tomorrow. So tomorrow the coffee will have been made. So it will be completed in the future. Future perfect simple. Okay. Woo woo woo. That's a lot. Okay, everyone. We did it. 14 cards all with make but with different verb tenses. Wow, 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 wow. Great, great, great. <coughs> so I hope you had fun. I had fun. Yeah. Okay, great. And if you like my videos. If you like my content, please consider joining the channel. That would be great. By helping me, I can help you. Help me so I can help you. So Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation. Practice, word families, phonics, all. Video 7. So be sure to see all the videos in this series. That would be great. Okay, thanks. All right, let's start. All. 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 B. All. B. All, b, all, ball, I like this beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, great. Now it's your turn. All. F. All. F. All. Fall. Did you fall down the stairs? M all M all M all mall Let's go to the mall All. St. All. St. All. Stall. It's at the third stall. Extension B All Ball B All Ball B All Ball Okay, now it's your turn. All fall F. all fall F. all fall
Mm. All. Mall. M. All. Mall. M. All. Mall. All Stall St All Stall St All Stall Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. And today we are spending one hour together. Yes, you and me for one hour. Yay. So I hope you are relaxed and you are ready and you are comfortable. Yeah, because I am. I am ready. <laughs> I am comfortable. And here I have my orange tumbler yes my orange tumbler filled with hot coffee yes and it's black no sugar no milk it's black the way i like it okay good and before we start today we should have a toast yes so let's have a toast to you all right for you for being here with me because without you there is no reason for me to be here so toast to you for being here <laughs> with me okay cheers everyone cheers okay great oh because we had a toast we have to have a drink all right so i'm gonna pop open the top there we go it's open now i'm gonna have a drink to you cheers everyone Mm, very, very good. Oh, perhaps if you don't have a beverage, if you don't, if you're not holding a glass or a mug or a tumbler like, like me, let's just bump fists. Okay, cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay, great, great. One more drink, please. Mm, very, very good. Okay, I'm going to put it down out of the way. Get it out of the way of your view, okay? Okay, so, all right. So, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Yes, <laughs> I already said that, right? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I didn't do the official hello yet, so I need to do the official hello first. Okay, here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here with me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. I did it. That was the official hello. Okay, great, great, great. And over there is today's lesson plan. All right. I can see it, but you can't see it. It's off camera. All right. So first, we will do a conversation from my book, 50 very short conversations. Yes, yes, yes. And there it is written right up on the board with a follow-up, okay? So we're going to first do a conversation from my book, 50 very short conversations. Then 
we will do dictation cards. Yes, yes, yes. Here are cards. And um, what we're going to do is I'm going to read the cards. I'm going to read each card. And you're going to listen carefully and write down what I say word for word. All right? And so that's dictation. And we will do that. And actually, there will be two parts. Part one, I will read the conversation and you will write down what I say word for word. And then we will shadow the cards. That is, we will sp you will speak at the same time as I do. So you will have listening practice and then speaking practice. All right. Then, after we do the dictation cards, we will do the three sentences card guessing game. I will give you three sentences, actually three clues, right? Each sentence is a clue. I will give you three clues for you, and then you will... I want you to guess what the card is, all right? So you won't be able to see the card. I will give you clues, and you will have to guess what it is, right? So that's your listening practice. How much do you understand? And then um, can you guess what the card is? And then we will do um, a reading, right? So I'm going to read a little story, a very short story. You will listen carefully, and then I will ask you, true or false questions about the story, okay? So that should be about an hour, all right? So um, let's get going, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so here is my book, 50 Very Short Conversations, and actually there's two, there are two books. This is book two, you can see book two, it's written right there, book two, and um, if you have the book, that's great. Go ahead and get it. If you don't have the book, you can order it on Amazon.com. Just go to Amazon.com. Um, you can put my name in. Enter my name, Mark Kulik. 50 Very Short Conversations, and you will see it right there. It'll pop up. <laughs> okay, so today's topic is there is, there is, all right? So here is today's conversation we're going to do right here at this page, right? And so there's um, the, the two main sentences, and then there's um, it continues here with follow-up activities here, all right? So these are pretty, for this camera, and it's pretty hard for you to see, right? So I wrote the conversation on the board, okay? So first, let me read it to you, okay? I'm going to read you the conversation, and then... We will do it again. We will um, practice it on the board, okay? So here we go. I'm just going to read the conversation, so I want you to listen carefully, okay? And remember, the topic is there is, there is, okay? Are you ready? I'm going to go ahead and read this, the conversation. Okay, here we go. There is a cup in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. There is coffee, too. Can I have some? Yes, there is some in the pot. Thanks, I'll help myself. Okay, one more time. And actually, let's, let's do um, fingers <laughs> so you know who is speaking, okay? So this is um, person A and person B. A, B, A, B, okay? So A is first, okay, here we go. Person A, there is a cup in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. There is coffee too. Can I have some? Yes, there is some in the pot. Thanks, I'll help myself. I'll help myself. Okay, good. So you can see the picture. And there's a cup in the kitchen. <laughs> there is a cup in the kitchen. Okay, there is a cup in the kitchen. All right. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and practice, you and I. Okay, so we will be, um, we will change roles. So for example, you will be A, I will be B, and then we will switch. All right. But before we do that, let's, um, let's go over the sentences, and maybe we, we should shadow, and we will go um, fast and slow. Okay, so let's get the pronunciation correct, and then let's get our speed correct. Okay, and so I want you to practice speaking with me. So this is shadowing. 
Okay, let me remind you what shadowing is in case you don't know. Shadowing is when you speak at the same time as I do. And it's called shadowing because this is a shadow right there. So here's my arm, and that is my shadow on the whiteboard. As my arm moves up, my shadow moves up. As my arm moves down, my shadow moves down. My shadow is moving at the same time as I am. So you will be my shadow. That is, you will speak at the same time as I do. You will not repeat after me. You will speak at the same time as I do. Okay? Yeah? Okay, good. So let's go over the, the, the um, conversation. Okay? And so I want you to shadow with me. And we'll go slow and fast, slow and fast. We'll change the speed. Okay? Here we go. This is A. Remember, we did the fingers. This was A and B, A and B. Okay, here's A. There is a cup in the kitchen. 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 B. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, there is coffee too. 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 Can I have some? 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 Yes, there is some in the pot. 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 Thanks, I'll help myself. Thanks, I'll help myself. Thanks, I'll help myself. I'll is I will, okay? But in speech, we just say I'll. But when you're writing, let's say, for example, you're writing a letter um, or business letter or something like that, you should write I will. But when we're speaking, we, the pronunciation is I'll. Thanks. I'll help myself. Thanks. I'll help myself. I'll help myself. Thanks. I'll help myself. Okay, let's do it one more time, and then we will, sw we will um, practice together, okay? So one more time, let's practice um, our pronunciation and speed. There is a cup in the kitchen. There is a cup in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. There is coffee too. There is coffee too. There is coffee too. Can I have some? Can I have some? Can I have some? Yes, there is some in the pot. Yes, there is some in the pot. So, pot coffee pot right so so you make coffee in a pot and then you pour it into a cup <laughs> so first we have a pot so the coffee is made in the pot and then we um, pour the coffee from the pot into the cup <laughs> so there is some in the pot there is some in the pot thanks I'll help myself thanks I'll help myself. Help myself. I will do it myself. I will do it myself. So I don't need you. I can do it myself. So A, A is, A, this is the person's house. So A, it's A's house. It's A's house. And so A is telling B, there is a cup in the kitchen. So perhaps they are sitting in the living room and Perhaps B said, oh, do you have a cup? And then A says, yes, 
there is a cup in the kitchen. And then B says, okay, thank you. So now B is walking into the kitchen. And um, then A says, there is coffee too. Oh, there is coffee too. So perhaps, um, perhaps A just wanted some water. Oh, do you have a cup because I want some water? And then A says, oh, yes, there is coffee too. So besides water, there is coffee. Besides milk, there is coffee. Besides, mm, besides juice, there is coffee. So in addition to. So there is water. In addition to, there is coffee. Okay? There is coffee too. Two, T-O-O, also. There is coffee too. Meaning there is water. Also, there is coffee. There is orange juice. Also, there is coffee. There is mm, tea. Also, there is coffee. Okay. Can I have some? So now B, it's, it's, it's not B's house, right? It's A's house. So B is asking, can I have some coffee? Okay. So being polite. So already A said, there is coffee too. So that means... Um, go ahead, right? But B wants to be polite and ask, can I have some? Then A says, oh, yes, of course. Yes, there is some in the pot. There is some in the pot. So the coffee is in the pot, right? So it's a, a, it's a, a coffee pot. Perhaps you've seen it. There's a handle and it's um, round and quite large. And so it's a tea it's a um, coffee pot. We say coffee pot. There is some in the pot. And then B says, thanks. I'll help myself. I will do it myself. I will pour the coffee into the cup. You can stay in the living room. I will do it myself. Okay? Okay, good. We got it. All right. So let's practice the conversation between you and me. You and me. Okay? So, um... I, I will be A first, and you will be B. A, B, A, B. Okay, here we go. I'm going to speak first, and then you're going to speak after me. So you are B. You say these lines. I will say the A lines, okay? Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a cup in the kitchen. There is coffee, too. Yes, there is some in the pot. Okay, good. Let's do it one more time. <coughs> Sorry about that. I will be A and you're B. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a cup in the kitchen. There is coffee too. Yes, there is some in the pot. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, let's um, switch roles, all right? You will be A, I will be B. A, B, A, B, okay? So let's do it. So you are A, you're going to go first. Okay, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Can I have some? Thanks. I'll help myself. <laughs> okay, let's do it again, all right? So you're A, I'm B. All right, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Can I have some? Thanks. I'll help myself. <laughs> I'll help myself. Okay, great job. All right, all right. We did it. Yes, you did it. We had a conversation together, you and me. Okay, great, great, great. Now, over here, let's practice this sentence, this pattern. Please help yourself to the. Please help yourself to the. Please help yourself to the. All right? So, for example, um, we're going to say, where does it say this? Um, okay, here it says, I'll help myself. So the person is volunteering, right? I'll help myself. I'll do it myself. 
<coughs> sorry, sorry, I need to, I need to have a, a sip of coffee here for my throat. Mm. Okay, good, good, good. Tastes good. All right, everything's good. Now, I'm going to tell the other person, go ahead, help yourself. In this situation, the person volunteered, they're going to do it themselves, right? So it's, it's A's house, but B says, I'll help myself. Now, here, for example, it's my house, all right? And so I'm telling you, go ahead, um, please help yourself. Please help yourself to the. So, for example, um, go ahead, um, please help yourself to the coffee, to the coffee, all right? So go ahead and drink the coffee. Have as much as you want, all right? So please help yourself to the coffee, for example. Okay, go ahead and pour yourself a cup of coffee. Go ahead, do it yourself. Your house is my house. <laughs> your, my kitchen is your kitchen, all right? My house is your house. So act as if it's your house. It's my house, but act as if it is your house, all right? So at home. So for example, the kitchen. So let's say there's coffee in the kitchen, right? So let's put coffee here. All right. So please help please help yourself to the coffee. Please help yourself to the coffee. How about the bathroom? So what things are in the bathroom? Oh, perhaps there's towels, like a hand towel, right? <coughs> so um maybe um, get a new one, right? So let's say towel. Let's use towel. Okay, so please help yourself to the, oh, let's say towels. Because maybe in, in the bathroom, there's a, a cupboard or a shelf and there are many towels there. <coughs> so I'm going to say, please help yourself to the towels. Please help yourself to the towels, right? Because there are many towels, so go ahead and, and take any one. Any one's okay. Um, here we go. How about living room? What can we, what, what can we um, offer someone in the, in the living room? <coughs> Sorry, I got this cough going right now. Um, how about help yourself, we're in the living room. How about help yourself to the TV? Help yourself to the TV. Okay, so perhaps um, go ahead and change the channel. I'm in the other room. I'm in the kitchen. I'm um, fixing something in the kitchen. And I say, oh, um, please help yourself to the TV, meaning go ahead and change the channel. Go ahead and turn it on. Um, whatever you want to do, my house is your house. All right, so please help yourself to the TV, okay? Um, how about another thing? Um, and the, how about soap, hand soap? How about hand soap? Okay, so maybe someone wants to wash their hands and they, want to, they need soap. So, oh, please help yourself to the hand soap. Please help yourself to the hand soap. Yeah, yeah, okay. How about one more thing in the living room? What can we do? Um, how about, um, let's see, how about magazines? Maybe there's, perhaps people have magazines, maybe you have magazines in your living room, and someone, oh, go ahead and look through the magazines. Please help yourself. Okay, so there's magazines, not just one. Oh, help yourself to the magazine, but maybe there are more than one. So help yourself to the magazines, all right? Please help yourself to the magazines, yeah. Um, <coughs> let's see, okay, we're back in the kitchen now. Let's say, what's in the kitchen? What can we share in the kitchen? How about, um, please help yourself to the glasses, okay? Help yourself to the glasses. So maybe you want a cold glass of milk or a cold glass of water. So go. please help yourself to the glasses. All right. So let's practice these. And 
I would be good practice for you. Maybe at home or wherever you are, <laughs> you could think of other things. In like other things in the bathroom, other things in the living room, other things in the kitchen for practice. All right. All right. So let's let's go over these sentences. All right. This pattern here. Please help yourself to the coffee. Ready? Please help yourself to the coffee. Please help yourself to the coffee. Towels. Please help yourself to the towels. Please help yourself to the towels. Hand soap. Please help yourself to the hand soap. Please help yourself to the hand soap. Oh, let me get back over here. Okay, now we're in the living room, all right? Please help yourself to the TV. Please help yourself to the TV. Magazines. Please help yourself to the magazines. Please help yourself to the magazines. We're back in the kitchen. <laughs> Please help yourself to the coffee. Please help yourself to the coffee. Glasses. Please help yourself to the glasses. Please help yourself to the glasses. Okay, good, good, good. Woo, okay, we're at home. Yeah, please help yourself to the. Please help yourself to the. All right, very, very good. All right, we did it. I'm looking here at my notes here. I wrote notes. And this is good. All right. So I think we're ready for our next activity. All right. Our next activity is dictation cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you have a pencil, yeah, if you have a pencil and if you have paper, why don't you get those? Because um, it's good for you to write down on a uh, piece of paper, right? Not just on your keyboard, but I think having a pencil in your hand or a pen in your hand and then writing on the paper, I think there's more of a connection, right? From your brain to your fingers to the paper. Where the keyboard, right? I mean, that's great too, but we could get double practice, right? So um, write on a piece of paper and then maybe your keyboard or whatever you're doing, <laughs> I don't know, but um, I want you to write down what I say word for word, all right? So I have some cards here, and actually I have eight. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This, okay, now you might notice there's some different cards here. All right. So these I printed on my com on my printer. So these I first I um, made the cards on my computer, then I printed them out on my printer, and then I laminated them. But these cards are from my. These are printed professionally printed cards. You could see who's that. That's me. <laughs> so I sell these here in Japan. And um, so I'm using some of these because our today's topic, I have cards that include today's topic, and then I added more. So today we have eight. So if you notice, we, we got four from here and four from here. Now, the cards from my, my Pairs Make Sentences pack, you can see from the, the, the cover here, we have a starter card. For example, I am, and then a finished card, happy. All right? So there's so two cards make a sentence. Two two cards make a sentence. And so here I have a um there is card and then a finished card. But I'm not gonna show you because that's part of the dictation practice. <laughs> so you will say, but I'm gonna use this card. This card is always going to be there is and these cards change right these have different sentences on them okay and different meanings all right so i'm going to use these cards and and these cards have the full sentence there is 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 included on the cards okay so let's go ahead and go all right so do you have your paper do you have a pencil yeah okay so i'm going to read each card three times okay and i'm not going to show you the picture then in round two i'm going to read them again three times and then i will show you the picture 
so you could see the meaning. So the first time is kind of check how well you understood. And then the second time around, I'm going to show you and you can um, then you will find out if you're if you got it right or if you got it wrong. OK, then after we do that, then we will shadow the cards for converse for speaking practice. All right. So here we go. Let me first go with these cards. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Let's count down. N card number one. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a flower under the desk. There is a flower under the desk. There is a flower under the desk. Okay. Number two, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath. Okay, card number three. There is a bookcase by the chair. There is a bookcase by the chair. There is a bookcase by the chair. Okay, card number four. There is a clock on the wall. There is a clock on the wall. There is a clock on the wall. Okay, card number five. Card number five. <coughs> there is a fridge next to a stove. There is a fridge next to a stove. There is a fridge next to a stove. Card number six. There isn't any more. There isn't any more. There isn't any more. Card number seven. Is there a sale today? Is there a sale? today is there a sale today card number eight there is a storm coming there is a storm coming There is a storm coming. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, nicely done. Good job. Okay, now let's do it again, all right? And then I will um, show you the card. And I will show you 
So that way you will see the sentence and you will see the picture, okay? So how well did you understand? Okay. How much did you get? <laughs> did you get it correct? Okay. Here we go. Card number one. Here we go. Shadowing time. Five. Four, no, 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 no. Dictation. <laughs> We're checking. This is to check. Okay. Ready? Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a flower under the desk. 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 So there's the flower. There's the flower under the desk. So you can see there's the flower and it's under the desk. Okay. That was one. Okay, good. Number two. Number two. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath yikes uh oh i would be scared i would be i would be surprised <laughs> if i opened my bath or i walked into my bathroom and saw a fish in the bath i'd go wow why why is there a fish in the bath <laughs> why is there a fish in the bath okay good that was card two Okay, card number three, five, four, three, two, one. There is a bookcase by the chair. 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 So there is the bookcase and there is the chair. There's the bookcase and there is the chair. Chair right there. There is a bookcase by the chair. Okay. Card number four. Number four. Number four. All right. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a clock on the wall. 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 So there, there's the, there's the wall and there is the clock. The clock is on the wall. Yes, it is. It's on the wall. There is a clock on the wall. Okay, the great. That was Card number four. How'd you do? Are you how are you doing? You getting these? You getting them? Correct. Okay. Now we're card number five. Card number five. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a fridge next to a stove. There is a fridge next to a stove. There is a fridge next to a stove there is a fridge next to a stove so the orange thing is a fridge and the white and black thing is a stove we cook on the stove and we put um, food and drinks in the fridge to keep them cold right so the fridge keeps things cold and the stove is used for cooking <laughs> okay card number whoa, 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 eight seven this is six <laughs> i lost count okay card number six count down five four three two one here we go card number six there isn't any more oh no there isn't any more there isn't any more there isn't anymore oh no it's gone it's all gone all the 
juice, all the strawberry juice is gone. There isn't any more. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> okay, number seven, card number seven, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> is there a sale today? 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 Yeah, I want it cheaper. <laughs> I, I will only buy it if it's on sale, right? If it's regular price, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> but if it's on sale, then I will buy it. <laughs> I will pay a cheaper price. I will not pay regular price. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, card number eight. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a storm coming. Wow. There is a storm coming. Oh, no. There is a storm coming. There is a storm coming. Watch out. Batten down the hatches. <laughs> you get ready for the storm. Okay, good. That was step one. That was dictation, yeah? So now, so I hope you wrote them down correctly. You got them right. If you didn't, that's okay because we're here for practice. That's what, that's what we're doing. We're practicing here. So that's... We don't worry about being perfect, do we? No. We just worry about um, understanding and um, understanding the meaning. That's the most important thing. Understanding the meaning, what it means, what the, what the sentence means. That's what we want. Okay, good. Okay, now step two is shadowing. Remember? Okay, so now you're going to... This is for speaking practice, all right? So now I want you to speak at the same time as I do. So your, your dictation sheet, where you wrote the sentence down, put them down. Don't look at the paper, okay? Don't look at the sentences, all right? So I want you just for speaking practice, all right? So I want you to listen and speak at the same time. So you're listening and speaking at the si same time. It's hard, but you can do it, yeah? Okay, here we go. Shadowing time. You are going to speak at the same time as I do. Here we go. Countdown to shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a flower under the desk. 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 Under the desk. Whoops. Where is my oh there it is okay oh, oh all right here we go one more i'm going to show it to you again there is a flower under the desk okay good 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 okay here we go next there is a bookcase by the chair 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 there is a bookcase by the chair. There is a bookcase by the chair. There is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath. <laughs> there is a fish in the bath. There is a fish in the bath. Yikes! There is a fish in the bath in the bath oh no what's happening that is strange okay next there is a clock on the wall 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 okay there is a fridge next to a stove. 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 Yes, there is. <laughs> okay. 
There isn't any more. There isn't any more. There isn't any more. Oh, there isn't any more. Yes, there is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have more. <laughs> there isn't any more. There isn't any more. Is there a sale today? 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 I hope so. <laughs> there is a storm coming. 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 Coming. <laughs> there is a storm coming. Okay, watch out. There's a storm coming. Okay, yes. Nicely done, everyone. Woohoo. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. All right. Let's go to our next activity, shall we? Yes, we should. Okay. Let's go ahead and do. Because we're listening and you're listening and then answering questions. So let's go ahead and keep going with this kind of um, activity. So I'm going to read a short story and then I want you to answer the questions with a true or false. True or false. Okay. Here we go. I have the story here. It's a very, very short story. I want you to listen carefully and then after I finish reading it, I will ask you questions and you will say true or false. True is yes, false is no, okay? So here we go, story time. I will read the story three times, okay? I will read the story three times. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. The story name is, the story's name is In the Park, In the Park, okay? Here we go. The Smith family is in the park today. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. Mr. Smith is reading the newspaper. Mrs. Smith is listening to the radio. Tim and John Smith are studying and Mike Smith is playing the guitar. The Smith family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they're in the park. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do it again. Okay, this is reading number two. The Smith family is in the park today. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. Mr. Smith is reading the newspaper. Mrs. Smith is listening to the radio. Tim and John Smith are studying. And Mike Smith is playing the guitar. The Smith family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they're in the park. <laughs> okay, one more time. The Smith family is in the park today. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. Mr. Smith is reading the newspaper. Mrs. Smith is listening to the radio. Tim and John Smith are studying and Mike Smith is playing the guitar. The Smith family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they're in the park. <laughs> yes, they are. Okay, good. Here we go. Question number one. The Smith family is at home in the yard today. The Smith family is at home in the yard today. True or false? Okay, number one. 
Let's see, two, there's, there are four. Four questions. Okay, one more time. The Smith family is at home in the yard today. True or false? The answer is false. No. Number one is false. Where, where is the Smith family? They're in the park, not at home in the yard. No. Okay, number two, number two, question number two. Tim Smith is studying. Tim Smith is studying. Yes, true. Actually, Tim and John are both studying. Tim and John are both studying. So yes, Tim Smith is studying. Question number three. Mike Smith is playing the radio. Mike Smith is playing the radio. True or false? Mike Smith is playing the radio. And the answer is false. No, 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 no. Mike Smith is playing the guitar. And Mrs. Smith is listening to the radio. Or not playing the radio, listening to the radio. So Mike Smith is not playing the radio. Mike Smith is playing the guitar. He is playing the guitar. Okay, question number four. The Smith family is very happy today. The Smith family is very happy today. True or false? And the answer is true. Yes, yes, yes. It's true, right? The Smith family is very happy today. Why? Why are they very happy? They are happy because it's a beautiful day and they're in the park. Why is the fam why is the Smith family happy today? Because it's a beautiful day and they're in the park. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good job. Yes, you did it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good, good, good. All right. We did it. So we got one more activity. Okay, everyone, are you ready? One more. Let's do the the three sentence um card guessing game the three sentence card guessing game okay so i have three cards and each card i have three sentences and i want you to guess what each card is okay so before we do that i need to erase the whiteboard because we need a clean whiteboard so i'm going to go ahead and ra erase the whiteboard so we have space for the card guessing game. Yay. I like games. Do you like games? Games are fun. Learning should be fun, right? So we should have games when we're learning, right? Because it's fun and we can learn. We can learn and have fun at the same time. And that is great. Okay, I need, there's three cards, so I need to get three magnets over here. One, two, Three. I got three magnets. I have an orange one. See a little or amber. Okay, there's like orange or amber. I'm not sure. And then we have a um, kind of blue green, and we might call that a um, like a turquoise color there. And then we have a blue one. Blue, blue, blue. And put that there. Okay. Let's start, okay? Shall we start? I think that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. Card number one. I'm going to put that right there. What is it? You don't know, right? Because you can't see it. If you could see it, then it wouldn't be a game, would it? No, it wouldn't. Okay, are you ready? Yes, let's go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you three 
clues to that card, all right? Clue number one, it's made of wood. It's made of wood, all right? It's made of wood. Clue number one, it's made of wood. Clue one, it's made of wood. Okay, good. What is it? What is it? Don't know yet, right? I mean, don't know yet. Okay, clue number two. It's round. It's round. It's round. Okay, clue number one, it's made of wood. Clue number two, it's round. Okay, clue number three, we use it to flatten dough. We use it to flatten dough. We use it to flatten dough. You know what it is? We use it to flatten dough. Okay, so for example, cookies and, and um, bread and things like that. Okay, mostly cookies probably. Okay, maybe donuts and things. Okay, it's made of wood. It's round. We use it to flatten dough. What is it? You know what it is? You got it? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Okay, and the answer is, da -na 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 -na. yes, it's a rolling pin. It's a rolling pin. Yeah, we, we use it. It's, it's made of wood. It's round, so it rolls, and we flatten dough with it, make it nice and flat so we can just make cookies or whatever, donuts, whatever you want to make with dough. Okay. That's a rolling pin. Okay, number two, number two, card number two, right here. What is it? You don't know. You, you don't know because you can't see it. If you could see it, then it wouldn't be a game, would it? But I'm going to give you three clues. I hope you can guess what it is. Okay, here we go. Clue number one. They are made of metal. They are made of metal. They are made of metal. Here we go. Clue number one. They are made of metal. All right. They are made of metal. What is it? Oh, still not enough clues. You need more clues, right? One clue is not enough. Okay, here we go. Two, two, two. Clue number two. They come with keys. They come with keys. They come with keys. They come with keys. Okay, do you know what it is, what, th what they are? <laughs> what are they? Okay, here we go. Clue number three, police use them. Police use them. Police use them. Police use them them okay what are they okay one more time for the clues they are made of metal they come with keys police use them oh you know what it is did you guess okay let's find out what what they are okay the answer is little drum roll na 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 yes they are handcuffs they are handcuffs they're made of metal. They come with keys, right? You can see they have to, they lock, they open and shut with a key. 
and police use them against bad guys, bad people. Oh, I've been caught. Okay, handcuffs. Yes, handcuffs. Okay, and our third card. We got one more card now. And I'm going to put it on the board right there. Can you see what it is? No, you can't see what it is because it's a game. If you could see what it is, then it wouldn't be a game, would it? No, no, no. <laughs> so you have to guess what it is. And I have three clues right here. Okay, here we go. Clue number one. It's soft. It's soft. It's soft. Okay, clue one. It's soft. It's soft. Okay, that's not enough clues, right? You need more clues. One's not enough. Okay, clue number two. It's used in the bedroom. It's used in in the bedroom. It's used in the bedroom. It's used in the bedroom. You know what it is? <laughs> you need one more? Okay, I'll give you one more clue. All right, here we go. Clue number three. We put our head on it. <laughs> we put our head on it. We put our head on it. We put our head on it. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. <laughs> Here we go. Clue number one, it's soft. Two, it's used in the bedroom. Three, we put our head on it. We put our <laughs> head on it. Okay, uh, maybe you know what it is. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. Brrr. What's the answer? -na 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 -na. Yes, it's a pillow. It's a pillow. You did it. You did it. Yeah. Okay, let's review the clues, the cards one more time real quick. Okay. A rolling pin is made of wood. A rolling pin is made of wood. A rolling pin is round. A, pole, a, blah, 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 a rolling pin is round. We use a rolling pin to flatten dough. We use a rolling pin to flatten dough. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. And card two. Handcuffs are made of metal. Handcuffs are made of metal. Handcuffs come with keys. Handcuffs come with keys. Police use handcuffs. Police use handcuffs. Okay. And card number three. A pillow is soft. A pillow is soft. We use a pillow in the bedroom. We use a pillow in the bedroom. We put our head on a pillow. <laughs> we put our head on a pillow. Yes, yes, you did it. Rolling pen, handcuffs, and a pillow. Yeah, you did it, you did it. And we've been here for over an hour. You did it, you stayed the whole time. Thanks so much. Great, great, great. You did well. We did lots of practice. Um, we did a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. Please get it at Amazon.com. Check it out on Amazon.com. That would be great. And um, we did card guessing game. Yeah, we, we guessed some cards. Um, Dictation, not card guessing. No, no, no. Dictation, dictation. Sorry about that. Um, you listened and then you wrote down what I said word for word. And then we, we practiced speaking those um, cards, speaking practice. And then we just did our card guessing game. So that was great. That was a lot of fun. Oh, we also read a story, right? I read your story and you answered questions. So we did a lot of practice today. Great, 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 great job, everyone. Um, and if you enjoy my videos, enjoy my content, and um, please consider joining my channel by helping me 
I can help you. Help me so I can help you. And um, go ahead and click on the join button and there'll be a pop-down menu and you could read all about the different benefits and the different levels of membership. And um, I encourage you, please, um, I need your help so I can help you. Okay, great. So please check that out, my memberships. And then... Um Hi, this is Mark and this is English Conversation Practice. And today we are practicing a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. This is Joe and this is Sue. <laughs> okay, great. And there will be four steps to today's conversation. Step one, I will read the conversation. Step two, I will ask you questions about the conversation. Step three, we will read the conversation together. And step four, we will shadow the conversation together. Okay, sounds good? Yes? All right. And today, today's topic is happy and sad. Happy and sad. Okay, and one more time. This is Joe. Please say hello to Joe. Hello, Joe. This is Sue. Please say hello to Sue. Hello, Sue. Okay, good, good. All right, here's step one. I'm going to read the conversation, okay? Ready? Okay, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Joe is first. Hi, Sue. I'm in a good mood today. Well, I'm miserable. What's the matter? I'm upset because I can't find my bag. Uh-oh, where did you lose it? I can't remember. I'm so sad. I'll help you look for it. I'll make you feel better. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. You are going to have a big smile on your face. Did you find it, Joe? <laughs> okay, good. How about, let's do it one more time. All right, sounds good? Yes, okay. Joe is first. Hi, Sue. I'm in a good mood today. Well, I'm miserable. What's the matter? I'm upset because I can't find my bag. Uh-oh, where did you lose it? I can't remember. I'm so sad. I'll help you look for it. I will make you feel better. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. You are going to have a big smile on your face. Did you find it, Joe? <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, now, step two, questions, all right? I'm going to ask you five questions, all right? And the first round, the first time, please do not answer the questions. Just listen carefully. I will read each question twice, all right? And just listen, because in round two, I will um, ask you the questions again and then give you time to answer answer the questions, and then give you the answers, okay? Yeah? Okay, good. So remember, the first round, this first round, do not answer the questions. Just listen carefully, okay? Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, question time. Question number one. How does Joe feel? How does Joe feel? Question number two. How does Sue feel? How does Sue feel? Question number three. Why is Sue upset? Why is Sue upset? Question number four. What will Joe do for Sue? What will Joe do for Sue? Question number five. Why does Sue have a smile on her face? Why does Sue have a smile on her face? face. Okay, good. All right. Now, I'm going to read them again, all right? And then I will give you time to answer the question, all right? And then I will give you the answer, okay? Here we go. Round number two, 
questions and answers. Okay, here we go. Question number one. How does Joe feel? Joe feels good. Question number two. How does Sue feel? Sue feels miserable. Question number three. Why is Sue upset? Sue is upset because she can't find her bag. Question number four. What will Joe do for Sue? Joe will help find Sue's bag. Question number five. Why does Sue have a smile on her face? Sue has a smile on her face because Joe found her bag. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. How did you do? Good? All right. We did the question and answers because we wanted to um, check your listening comprehension. We want to check how much you understood. We want to check how well you understood. We want to check your listening. All right. Now, right? So step one, I read the conversation. And step two, I asked you questions about the conversation. And you haven't seen the conversation, right? So you've just been listening, right? So now let's read the conversation. And I will show you this, the conversation. You will see the sentences. You will see the vocabulary. You will see the words. And that way, if there was anything you didn't understand, now you can see the words. You can see the sentences, so you might understand even more now, all right? So let's um, read the conversation together. I'm going to hold the conversation up to the camera here, and let's read it together, all right? Here we go. Hi, Sue. I'm in a good mood today. Well, I'm miserable. What's the matter? I'm upset because I can't find my bag. Uh-oh, where did you lose it? I can't remember. I'm so sad. I'll help you look for it. I will make you feel better. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. You are going to have a big smile on your face. Did you find it, Joe? Did you find it, Joe? Okay, good, good. Let's read it one more time, all right? And I want you to be um, reading with me. I want you to be reading out loud, okay? Don't be, don't read silently. Please read out loud, okay? This is for your pronunciation, all right? Here we go. Hi, Sue. I'm in a good mood today. Well, I'm miserable. What's the matter? I'm upset because I can't find my bag. Uh-oh, where did you lose it? I can't remember. I'm so sad. I'll help you look for it. I will make you feel better. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. You're going to have a big smile on your face. Did you find it, Joe? Did you find it, Joe? <laughs> okay, good, good, good. I hope now you understood more of the conversation. Yeah, okay, great, great, great. Now, we are ready for step four, shadowing. Shadowing is when you speak at the same time as I do. Please do not repeat after me. Speak at the same time as I do. It's called shadowing because, like, for example, here's my arm, and there's my shadow against the whiteboard. As my arm moves up, my shadow moves up. As my arm moves down, my shadow moves down. My shadow is moving at the same time as I am, right? So you will be my shadow. You will read, or not read, but <laughs> you will speak at the same time as I do, okay? Yeah? Okay, great. Now it's time for shadowing. Let's count down. 
five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, Sue. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood today. Well, I'm miserable. Well, I'm miserable. Well, I'm miserable. I'm miserable. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? I'm upset because I can't find my bag. 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 Uh-oh, where did you lose it? 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 Where did you lose it? <clears throat> I can't remember. I'm so sad. 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 I'll help you look for it. I'll help you look for it. I'll help you look for it. I'll. I will. I will help you look for it. I will help you look for it. I'll help you look for it. I will make you feel better. I will make you feel better. I will make you feel better. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. Let's start searching the house. You are going to have a big smile on your face. You are going to have a big smile on your face. You are going to have a big smile on your face. You are going to have a big smile on your face. You're going to have a big smile on your face. Did you find it, Joe? Did you find it, Joe? Did you find it? Did you find it? <laughs> okay, good, good. How did you do? Did you speak at the same time as I did? Yes? Okay, great. Um, actually, let's look at the conversation one more, one more time just so we get all the pronunciation correct and make sure you understand it all. All right, so let's just look at the um, sentences one more time and let's read it together. And I want you to um, be speaking, okay? No silent reading. I want you to um, read out loud with me. Okay, here we go. One more time. Hi, Sue. I'm in a good mood today. Well, I'm miserable. What's the matter? I'm upset because I can't find my bag. Uh-oh. Where did you lose it? I can't remember. I'm so sad. I'll help you look for it. I will make you feel better. Thanks. Let's start searching the house. You are going to have a big smile on your face. Did you find it, Joe? Did you find it, Joe? <laughs> okay, great job. We did it. Four steps. Yeah, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read the conversation. I asked you questions about the conversation. We read it together and we shadowed it together. That was four great activities to practice your English with me. Yeah, great, great, great. All right. Well, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy my content, please consider joining the channel. Hit the join button and there will be a pop-down menu which will explain the different levels, how to become a member, and the benefits of becoming a member, okay? And by helping me, I can help you, all right? By supporting me, I can support you, okay? Yes, yes. And four, flashcards flash and worksheets 
please check out my website, markkulik.com. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, I will see you again for another conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue, okay? Thank you very much. Take it easy. Bye.